This video content is not intended for children. And this is Alex from Lebanon, a nice large mouth there doing the selfie thing on Old Hickory Lake. Welcome back to Realistic Fishing. Once again, I'm at the log because it's the only place I know to catch fish in the winter. Well, this and the trout fishing spot, which I may get to go to in the next day or two, we'll see how it goes. Anyway, Let's get rigged up with some confidence baits. I got some Nightcrawler, I got some Gulp Minnow. Let's see if we can get a bite. Here we are with that same tub of Nightcrawlers. I haven't looked in here for a while because I haven't gone fishing. Ooh, I got some mold, but I do see some worms. Almost done. Almost done with the tub of Nightcrawlers. Looks like I got one or two more in there. Looks like one or two are moldy and dead as well. Anyway, let's get rigged up. I'm gonna start out today with a realistic rig. We're gonna fish a piece of night crawler close to the bottom. I got about a foot and a half a lead line there. Hopefully, hopefully we can catch some fish. been a few days since I've had a chance to come out. It's been so brutally cold lately. Well, cold for Tennessee, so, you know, mid-30s and wind blowing off the water into my face. I can't take that for very long, so here I am on a more mild 39 degree day. The wind is pretty calm, so here I am. There's a bite. fish got one I think oh no it's snagged oh I got him free I was snagged on something for a second the fish pulled its way out of there there it is first fish of the day hey pretty decent bluegill here Ooh, cold as ice yeah there we go I would say we got about a seven inch bluegill here let's let him go all right, good first fish. Good way to start the day, seven inch bluegill. Let's see if we can get a couple more. It's pretty deep out there. It takes a while to sink. In the middle of this channel here where the big channel and small channel come together, I would say it's probably 20 feet out there. There, my there my bait finally hit the bottom there's a slight current down there coming towards me so I need to continually take up the slack so I can feel the bite there's a bite got him doesn't feel very big Another bluegill. Looks to be in about the five or six inch range. Yeah, six inches. Step over here into the sun so you can get a good look at it. Feisty. Feisty bluegill here. Six incher. Not bad. Got some interesting green and purple colors going on here. Ice cold too, ice cold. Hey, it's Josh from the One Ton Fishing Club. Hi, it's Jared from One Ton Fishing Club. Hey, what's up? This is Kyle from One Ton Fishing Club. Hey, this is Art from One Ton Fishing Club. You're watching Realistic Fishing. Keep it realistic. Still got my worm. Let's make sure it's on there. I don't want to fish just stealing it off the hook. If I can catch three fish on one worm, that's awesome. If I can catch six or ten fish on one worm, that's even better. Let's keep going. 
I'm fishing out here in the deep water adjacent to the log. Two fish so far, I'm happy with that. For how cold it's been, I'm just happy to be catching anything. We'll see if we can find anything larger than a seven inch bluegill. There's a bite. Not very big. We'll see what we got here. Just a little guy. Third fish of the day. Four inch bluegill. Just a little dink. Man, the background noise from that plant over there sounds like a jet. It's kind of annoying. There's a nibble, something small. Got him. All right. Another six inch bluegill. Yeah, five and a half, six inch bluegill. Again, purple and green. Interesting color. And I still got my bait. Let's make sure it's on there good so the next fish doesn't just steal it. Hi, I'm John from Northern Grit, and you're watching Realistic Fishing. Keep it realistic. There's a nibble. Got him. This feels like a better, oh, it's because I'm snagged. There we go. Felt like a bigger fish because I was snagged for a second. This might be a better fish. What do we got here? Yeah, that ain't bad. Yeah, that ain't bad. Nice beefy bluegill here. Yeah, nice and tall. I'd say it's about a seven, seven and a half inch bluegill. Biggest one so far. I like how tall it is. Good color too. A lot of purple on this one. Still got my bait. Let's keep going. Almost lost that one to a snag as well. There's some big tree branches down here underwater. Even though the log looks like it ends right there, it extends over this way as well. Fish. Feels like a decent one. Similar to that last one. There he comes. All right. Easy. Easy. We got a twitcher here. Yeah, seven inch bluegill. Good looking fish. Looks like I still got my bait. We're gonna make sure it's on there good. 
cast it back out. There's a bite. Something's nibbling at it. Oh. Snagged. Oh. Oh, no. No. I did catch the log. Come on. Come on. Oh. Did I snap the whole rig off? What happened? Dang it. I got a ton of line back, but I don't have the hook. Let's tie on a new rig. Well, I tried to be careful. Now I need to switch to Eagle Claw size 8. Let's set up another rig here. And just hope we don't get snagged again. What's up, guys? Joe here with Chat Cats Fishing. You are watching Realistic Fishing. Keep it realistic. It totally sucks. But this is realistic fishing, and that kind of shit happens. Back out into the snag zone. Did I got a fish? Did I get him? What's going on here? I sure did. I had to raise that rod tip up really high to try and avoid the snag. And I got one on a gulp minnow. Yeah, six incher, five and a half incher. Not very tall, not very big. Jumped out of my hand, but landed in the water. My hands are just about frozen. But I want another fish. Fish. What do we got? What do we got? Another bluegill. Pretty nice size too. Yeah, there we go. Another seven inch bluegill here. Good color. Yeah, good looking fish. Oh, just in case you're interested, today I'm fishing with the Luz Mach 2 all-purpose spinning rod. Today I'm using it to fish for bluegill. I got a Shimano Sienna 1000, and I'm fishing six-pound test. I switched from the Aberdeen size 6 hook to an Eagle Claw size 8 because I ran out of the other ones. Got him. Oh, I had him for a second. Do I still got him? I do. Here we go. Nice size bluegill. Maybe I'll stay for one more after catching one like this. This might be the biggest bluegill of the day right here. Wow, it has a big lump. Check out that lump. Can you see it? All right. Got about a seven and a half, eight inch bluegill here. I'm gonna call you Lumpy. All right, Lumpy, time for you to go. Now that was pretty cool. And since I still got my bait, might as well make another cast. Good old Lumpy the bluegill. Fish. This feels like a little bit better of a fish. Yeah, pulling. What do we got here? Here we go. Another nice bluegill. Awesome. Yeah, this might be the biggest bluegill of the day now. Wow, that's a sandwich right there. Yeah, biggest bluegill of the day right here. I can feel them in my hand. I can tell easy. Oh my gosh. Strong one, too. 
There we go. Eight inch bluegill, maybe eight and a half. Nice big tall bluegill here. Got him on that gulp minnow. Let's let him go. Hello, this is Thomas from Thomas Arm Fishing. You're watching Realistic Fishing. Keep it realistic. Wait. You look like a puppy. Are you lost? <laughs> See ya. Alright, well that wasn't too bad. Wow, that sun. There's my number one fan over there. Anyway, I think I did alright today. Using a realistic rig with nightcrawler and gulp minnows, I was able to catch a bunch of bluegill. Unfortunately, I got snagged a few times and lost a couple rigs, but hey, that's fishing. If you need something to do this winter, and you know of a spot like the log, get out there and catch some winter bluegill. Thanks for watching Realistic Fishing. Keep it realistic.